Uh, so the piece of the AFWorks enterprise you know, that I work with, the capability for, is uh, the spark cells. So, you know, I was uh, KC-10 pilots, my background, and so throughout my career, you know, I, uh, I heard all this innovation stuff, and I was really excited about it, but by the time, you know, you go down to the squadron level, there's really nothing, you know, tangible, you know, in the innovation space. So it was almost just like, you know, you heard it, you know, out of the Pentagon, but nothing ever made it out to the actual fight. So uh, I was at Travis Air Force Base. Anybody from Travis? All right, we had a team at Travis. All right, yeah, Travis Air Force Base, everybody. So we had a, t uh, a team at Travis. We were empowered by our local leadership, so it's California, to go out to Silicon Valley. This is circa 2015, in order to try to create those relationships and uh, to solve the problems that the warfighter was having. So Spark, how do we do this from the bottom up too? So Afros, top down, side to side, bottom up. And so this is a window in an opportunity where people can work locally in the innovation ecosystem. So what Spark is, it's a decentralized network of semi-autonomous innovation cells. You're gonna hear them by different names. So at Scott, it's called Elevate Scott. At, uh, at Holbert, it's uh, the first SAL uh, calls it uh, Project One. Uh, at Eglin, it's CP2I. But we generically call them Spark Cells, <laughs> these base level innovation organizations, right? And so you can think of that as a microcosm of this larger Afrox enterprise. And so, you know, free to test, experiment, prototype, and build an innovation organization that makes sense for your organization.